yes, the Dixie Chicks are now just the Chicks. The group has dropped the word Dixie from their name. It's likely a response to the nationwide protests against racism. The word Dixie often refers to the southern U.S. states that were part of the Confederacy. And their website also includes the new name along with the words, we want to meet this moment. Wow. The Chicks also dropped a new song, March March, that reflects the recent protests. Have a listen. I'm an army of one. Powerful. Um, Erica, you know, we talked about this earlier in regard to the Dixie Chicks are no stranger. Now the Chicks, the Chicks are no stranger to protest and to speaking out, even risking uh, their fan base. What do you make of this? You know, this is a, it's really powerful. Um, you know, people, when we think of change, someone's always looking to someone else to do it. And there's a saying, be the change you want to see in the world. And because someone who worked in country radio for some time, it is such a powerful thing to see country artists, to see NASCAR, to see um, places and spaces that were never historically considered for black people or people of color be so inclusive in a way that there's outreach in this way, like being the change that they want to see in order to have a more united future. And I think that that's so important for all of us to think about how can we be a part of the change that we really want to see in this world. Well said. Jeff, what did you make of this news? Did you know of this? No, I didn't know of this until right now. Listen, I look at it like this, Sam. I, I love the way Erica explained that because I guess it's called white privilege. I don't even know what to say what it is anymore, but it's the same thing I've learned through the LGBTQ process. It's like, what's right, what's wrong, what's appropriate, how do I go about this? In the beginning, you're kind of nervous to say this and then ask questions, why shouldn't I say this? And it's kind of feels the same way. The movement feels the same way. How does it, why is this, why is Dixie Chicks like this? I understand the frustration. I understand to educate yourself. But listen, I'm a question guy. I'm a curious guy. I'm a conversational guy. That's how I learn. And I understand the education co concept part of it. But I, I love the way Erica put it. And I like that America's eyes are opening up to a lot of these things now. So I'm looking at it all in a positive way. 